80 years ago, Australian photographer Max Dupain snapped a photo of his friend, Harold Salvage, resting on the sand after a swim at Culborra Beach in New South Wales. Dupain was a prolific photographer who became famous for his bold and striking images of Australian landscapes, people and architecture. But it was the Sun Baker that ended up defining his career. So it was taken in the late 1930s and became famous in the middle of the 1970s. So what was kind of happening in Australia at the time, do you think, that made this cut through? Uh, that was a time where photography was started to establish itself as an art form. But more broadly, uh, in the 70s, it was such a uh, crucial period of time for discussion around Australian identity. You know, that notion of Australianness. The Sun Baker became that image of Australianness. But Dupain was never completely comfortable with how viewers would add their own interpretations to what was essentially a holiday snapshot. It's one of these images that have consistently kind of produced meaning um, beyond their original intention. And it is obviously today a quite tricky, potentially controversial subject matter, that notion of identity and, and multiculturalism. Claire Monterey is the driving force behind Under the Sun, an exhibition that invites contemporary artists to use the iconic image as a starting point for exploring current political issues. A lot of people would identify themselves uh, with that image, that experience of the beach. It's uh, also quite an abstract yeah. image in a way where you can't really recognise the, the background. It's a perfect canvas for imagination. When I thought about that as an innocent image, if you like, I thought I don't see Australia as a very innocent place anymore and that really that idea that we're sort of fun-loving and a bit, I don't know, casual in our sort of relationship to the world, I think it's not quite true anymore. I had this idea that I, I'd like to look at that pose from underneath. So I was trying to work out how I could lie someone on some perspex, shoot them from underneath, and I was thinking about this kind of underworld, this underbelly, if you like. And then that kind of led to, to more of a thought about Yes, the idea of the under, undercurrent of that image. Julie is basically inviting us to the lectern and giving us the option of two, I guess, positions. You either stand up and voice your opinion or you keep your head down in the sand. So may I? Absolutely. <laughs> Artist Sarah Oscar uses historical images of Nauru in her work, reflecting on a very different photo of someone on the beach. There were photographs that circulated in the media of um, a boy called Alan Kurdi, uh, who was a refugee who was um, who drowned on the beach in Greece, and the photograph that circulated was of him face down on the sand. So I was thinking about the hidden elements um, of colonialism and immigration and identity and exclusion. Uh, we see Harold Salvage, who is an English migrant, who is Max Dupain's friend, who poses for the Sun Baker, but we don't really think about him as um, an English migrant we see him as quintessentially Australian. What's been really interesting with this project is that I've had to uh, think again about this image. In a form, this idea is you're sub uh, subverting the image already. And then you're going in terms of this idea of, of race as well. The loaded notion of it is of, you know, it's established on stolen land. And subverting and uh, inverting the image by subverting the negative becomes almost, you see the black and the white. So the character changes, the landscape changes from black to white. 
under the sun, it's referencing uh, a, a, a line, a phrase in the Ecclesiast. So it has some religious meaning. The line is basically, you know, there is nothing new under, under the sun and what has been will be again. And so it's, you know, drawing from that idea that things are, are, are what they are and, and constantly repeating. And I guess that's also what the exhibition wants to challenge, that in fact things are not what they are, things are constantly in flux, things are constantly changing and moving and being reshaped by whoever is looking at them or, or experiencing them.